Y'all see that shit? So if you don't know by now, World War 3 is almost upon us. No, not really, but in the world that we live in today, everyone's gonna make memes about it. By the way, sorry if my hair looks, uh, fucking trash. Got done boxing and, uh... I couldn't be bothered to fix it or shower, so, um, my balls kind of stink. If you haven't been keeping up with the news lately, subscribe to your boy, because you know me, okay? I'm gonna talk about all the world events without all the boring shit. Basically, Donald Trump... That's pretty much it, Donald Trump! Now, I don't want to get into politics or anything like that, because that is something that can kill a YouTube channel, even though mine is practically already dead. Whether you supported Trump and you thought it was a good idea, or you didn't support Trump and you think that there was a better option, it was a hard decision either way. Personally, I think... <laughs> Anyway, enough with the serious talk. Let's react to some fucking meme. We just got a letter. I wonder who it's from. The U.S. Army Draft. Fuck. I ran fucking with the U.S. Japan. Oh no, baby. What is you doing? <laughs> World War III announced. Gamers, we're ready. I'm telling you, Call of Duty has prepared us for this moment. My homie in World War III after I shoot him, see a friendly fire is enabled. Bro, the amount of times that I've done this in Call of Duty, bro, it is insane. Hopeful me walking into 2020, World War III. <laughs> Obviously, the woman grabbing the Pope and him freaking out. Yep, that is very true. What's up? I'm gonna be in your city. <laughs> Obviously, attractive woman. I'm gonna be in your city because the, the draft... You know, it's it's crazy. You know, the probability of the draft is very unlikely. And it has to be put into place by the president and the branches. But, you know, we'll see. Me lying in bed at 4 a.m. hearing <laughs> explosions outside mere hours after laughing at World War Three memes on Twitter. <laughs> Dog, bro, if I post this video and it happens the next day. Oh my god. My mom taking my pick before I get deployed for World War Three. Jesus, yeah, yeah, yeah. My mom, she would actually do this and uh, be happy that I'm going. <laughs> Can I speak to the manager of Iran with the motherfucking Karen haircut? That's how you'd win a war, dog. 2020 is going to be the best year ever. Sees World War Three trending two days into 2020. That pretty much was what happened. They can't draft you if they can't see you. <laughs> the motherfucker blocked the U.S. Army. Hey, that's... I guess that's how it works. World War Three starts. Console players. Wait, we don't get aim assist? PC players? So I can't just point and click? VR players. I've been looking forward to this. Yeah, uh, hey. Yeah. I'm both a console and PC, and if I can't just point and click and get aim assist, then... Then I'm fucked. When the World War Three memes are funny, but you're low-key worried. <laughs> Japan telling Iran not to start World War Three with the U.S. We know a thing or two because we've seen a thing or two. Miracle! You laughing at all World War Three memes versus when you get that draft letter? Hey, bro. Hey. <laughs> Bro, these memes kind of on point. <laughs> when you get drafted into World War Three and find out a 25 kill streak only gets you PTSD, not attack nuke, I <laughs> shook. Yeah, I, I'd imagine so. Me when the government knocks on my door and asks for ID to join the war, I am 12. <laughs> Fucking Carlos, bro. When you realize World War Three jokes might become a reality, mm-hmm. It do be like that. To be honest with you, dog, I kind of feel weird laughing at these. I, I'm not gonna lie about it. I saw something on Instagram. It, it was like of this uh, U.S. soldier like talking about like people making memes, and you know that's just what our generation does. And, and I mean, they they make light of the situation, and <clears throat> some situations, you know, that's just how people cope with things like this. Whenever they're scared, they just sort of laugh it off and make a joke out of it. And I think that's what a lot of people are doing. Now, some of these little fucks, no, they don't care. They're, they're just making a joke out of everything because that's just what the internet does. But this is a serious situation, so I do not condone taking this lightly. Iran has made a statement saying that they don't want to start a world war. They essentially just want Trump. And, uh, you know, it's, uh... It's kind of it's kind of weird when you think about it, man. It's it's kind of scary to to think that you know people can just from the, uh, just a switch 
just start like a world war and then everyone just goes into panic and it can just change how we see life. Because I mean, most of the people today, you know, we haven't seen war, you know, we haven't seen a world war or, or I mean, even just a little war. You know, obviously Vietnam and, and you know, war is still going on in some areas of the world, but not to this scale. Yeah, I don't wanna make this like a sappy, serious video, but I just do wanna say that this stuff can happen and this stuff is real. So like I said, I don't condone taking this stuff lightly, but if this is how you cope with being scared, then you know, fair play to you. Wow, what a way to end the video. Anyways, hopefully our world leaders can get this resolved and we can go back to making fun of someone else. And uh, hopefully we all don't get drafted, guys.